हेलो स्टूडेंट्स समग्र शिक्षा सिद्धिपेट प्रेजेंट्स आर वर्ल्ड थ्रू इंग्लिश क्लास सेवन यूनिट फोर पेज सिक्सटी नाइन सी रीडिंग द एम्पर्स न्यू क्लोथ्स मेनी इयर्स एगो देर वॉज एन एम्पर who was so fond of new clothes that he spent all his money on them one day two men came to the emperor's court we are weavers they said we can make the most beautiful cloth in the world the emperor was very happy our cloth is also very special said the men only wise men can see it fools cannot that's very good thought the emperor when i wear the clothes made with it i will know who is wise and who is foolish the emperor gave the men a lot of money start weaving at once he told them they set up two looms and pretended to be very busy though they had nothing at all on the looms they asked for the finest silk and the purest gold thread they put these in their own bags and they worked at the empty looms until late at night i should like to know how those weavers are getting on with my cloth thought the emperor only wise men can see the cloth i'll send my old minister who is the wisest man in the court so the good old minister went into the room in which the men were working at the empty looms what can be the meaning of this thought the old man opening his eyes very wide i cannot see anything on the looms page 70 come a little nearer said the men to the minister isn't the cloth beautiful they pointed to the empty looms the poor old minister looked hard he could see nothing on the looms for nothing was there what he thought is it possible that i am a fool well sir said one of the men how do you like the cloth oh it's splendid said the minister now the emperor thought he would like to see the cloth so he called his officers and went with them to the weaver's room isn't the cloth beautiful said the old minister pointing to the empty looms how is this said the emperor to himself i can see nothing at all am i fool oh it's beautiful said the emperor aloud all the officers looked keenly they saw nothing on the looms but they all said it's very beautiful for the great procession next week said the old minister kindly wear robes made of this cloth the emperor agreed the weavers worked hard than ever at last they said the cloth was ready they cut in the air with a huge pair of scissors they stitched the clothes with needles without any thread in them see they cried at last the emperor's new clothes are ready the emperor went to the weavers with his officers the weavers 
raised their arms in the air and said, These are the treasures and this is the coat. It's so light, said one of them. You won't even feel the cloth, said the other. Page 71 That's the beauty of it, said one officer. Yes, said all the others. That's the beauty of it. But they couldn't see anything. There was nothing to see. Will your majesty take off your clothes? said the men. Then you can put on your new clothes. The emperor took off all his clothes. The men made a show of putting new clothes on him. The emperor stood in front of a mirror and turned round and round. How well His Majesty looks in his new clothes, cried all his officers. Then the emperor walked along in the procession. People in the streets cried, How beautiful the emperor's new clothes are, but he's got nothing on at all, said a little child. And one person said to the other, he has nothing on at all. He has nothing on. He has nothing on, cried all the people. The emperor felt unhappy. He knew that the people were right. He had nothing on. But the procession had to go on.